Hey, good morning. It's what, 3, 3.08 a.m.? It's Friday. I'm on my way to the gym right now. Like I said, Mondays, Fridays, best days to get up early. Gives you more time, sets the tone for what it is you want to do. Uh, I didn't get in until about 8.30 last night. 8.30, I think 8.38. I didn't get to see my family. I didn't get to kiss my little baby. I didn't get to, I didn't get to spend any time. By that time, everybody typically goes to sleep when I go to sleep. So everybody was already kind of uh, crashing out uh, besides Malachi, who was working on uh, a project. Um, I stayed up. I, I left my office. I found me a Starbucks that was nice and popping. And uh, I sat down and I started working on some projects for my clients. I was determined to deliver a higher level of service to them. So there were some systems and processes that I wanted to implement. And that required me to sacrifice uh, coming home, uh, spending time, having dinner. Uh, and that was okay because I was thankful for the opportunity to even be representing somebody in, you know, one of the biggest transactions of most people's lives and sometimes multiple deals. I was, I, I was, I was, I was happy to do it. Uh, that didn't exclude the fact that I communicated with my family um, and I've been communicating with them lately to let them know that there are certain things that I'm going to sacrifice in order to uh, propel not only this family but uh, generations to come forward you know so my my plans are bigger than just me they're generational plans they're generational gaps that need to be filled um, so I was happy to do that I was listening to something this morning and uh, the millionaire next door and uh, there was a quote in there, and the quote said, uh, the elevator to success is broke. However, the stairs are always open. Listen, people, the only thing that could possibly come of not disciplining yourself in what you eat so that your, your physical health is in shape uh, the only thing that could come as a result of not disciplining yourself to possibly work on that Saturday in order to uh, gain forward momentum, the only thing that could come as a result of lack of discipline is the regret of what you did not achieve when you become older. Um, um, it wasn't Rockefeller. It was... Um, uh, Car Carnegie, at the time, during the Great Recession, he was still a billionaire. Um, he was a steel giant. Uh, he dealt with raw metals. And he was poor. He was an immigrant from Scotland. And, uh, you know, a lot of us can relate to poor. So how do you go from poor to billionaire? But his commitment, his dedication, and his discipline came in the form of he had the mindset that I'm going to get rich in the first part of my life. The second part of my life, I'm going to spend giving away all my riches. And he donated hundreds of millions of dollars, uh, built multiple libraries, and was committed and disciplined to the process. That's why I'm up at 3. I'm out the door. I'm sitting in my car at 3.10 a.m. No side effects of my body because I'm in shape. No side effects on my mind because it's strong. And had you asked me this over a year ago, I would probably not even be coherent right now. But I've given up a lot of things. I've given up what I eat. I've sacrificed. I've become disciplined. I've given up sleeping at certain hours, watching certain things inhaling certain things, taking in certain things, surrounding myself with even certain people. I've done that. Because in my world, the elevator is always broke. So I have to take the stairs to get to where I got to go. And that's okay. My legs are strong enough now. But the disciplines that you fail to initiate right now, they will get you tomorrow.
they will pay you back tenfold. The seeds you failed to sow today will mean that when harvest time comes around, you will have nothing to reap. You will have nothing to sow. Discipline, sowing the seed. These are things that must be done now. 